Welcome to the Yes Prep Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to, that you, to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Nashira and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use your, the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com forward slash yes prep. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Midwestern State University. All right, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Adam Pitts with Midwestern State University, and I serve as one of the regional admission counselors in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Glad that you all could join us for this virtual session. As I go through the slides of, of my presentation, feel free to use your QR reader to scan the QR codes that, that, to look up specific information on our website. MSU Texas is a four-year public liberal arts university located in Wichita Falls, Texas which is only a little over two hours from Oklahoma City and the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. MSU Texas has officially joined the Texas Tech University system as of September 1st, 2021. We're excited to become the fifth member institution to join the system. MSU's enrollment size is relatively smaller compared to medium and large size public universities. We have 6,000 students enrolled from 44 states and 54 countries. Our student to faculty ratio is 18 to one, which is something that students really value at MSU. Our students enjoy being in smaller classes and forming close connections with faculty and their peers. Many students use the words family and homey to describe what it feels like to be on campus. The university campus is 255 acres nestled in between a really nice upscale neighborhood and city amenities such as restaurants, movie theaters, a mall, and other retail stores. Outside of class, there's lots to do on campus. We have 14 different fraternities and sororities, over 100 student clubs and organizations, and Division II athletics. Our sports include football, men's and women's basketball, soccer, tennis, and golf, and women's volleyball, softball, cross country, and track. We also have many events that are hosted each year, such as our Carib Fest that celebrates Caribbean culture and diversity at MSU, and our homecoming week with various activities such as annual, our annual cardboard boat race and bonfire. And there are many, many ways that students show their Mustang, Mustang spirit on and off campus. MSU has over 70 undergraduate and graduate programs of study. Our four largest academic areas are health sciences, business, education, and mathematics, science, and engineering. Some of our most well-known programs in health sciences are nursing, radiology, respiratory care, dental hygiene, athletic training, and exercise physiology. We also have many pre-professional programs that can be combined with our science or health science majors. We do have study abroad opportunities in England, Spain, France, Grenada, and Central America, and we're always adding other opportunities as well. Uh, we also have a Red One Honors Program that allows students to interact with other high achieving students in small classes and an honors living learning community. The honors program offers $4,000 and $7,000 scholarships, depending on academic merit, and students have the opportunity for study abroad scholarships. MSU has a rolling admissions process, which allows us to process and render an admissions decision, usually within two to three weeks of completing your application and submitting all documents. Although our priority deadline for applications is not until March 1st, I usually recommend high school seniors to apply mid to late fall with the goal of gaining acceptance before December 1st. This allows incoming freshmen to apply for some of our higher scholarships in early spring and automatically qualify for our merit-based scholarships before our April 1st scholarship deadline. Students who are in the top 25% of their class or have an unweighted 3.0 GPA will receive automatic admission. MSU is test optional for fall 2022. Please review the information on this slide to see the criteria for the admission pathways or scan the QR code. 
Students who do test well may want to submit their SAT, ACT scores in consideration for our merit-based and other scholarships. MSU prides itself on providing an affordable option to students. Our estimated cost per semester based on tuition and fees and room and board and books and supplies is usually around $10,000 a semester if taking at least 15 hours. We do allow you to lock in your tuition rate uh, and we have great scholarship and financial aid programs to make our costs very affordable for students and their families. Learn more about our costs by going to the website listed or scanning the QR code. MSU provides a variety of great scholarship opportunities. The merit-based scholarships listed here at the top are automatic as long as you've been accepted with your highest test scores on file before April 1st. Our presidents distinguished and Redmond Honor Scholarships are a few of our higher scholarships for, uh, for those students who have above average SAT or ACT test scores. Our Pretty Scholars Program is a competitive scholarship specifically for first generation college students. And these scholarships are selective and they, and they cover tuition and fees, books, room and board and study abroad. Please scan the QR code or visit the links to review a majority of, our, of the scholarships available at MSU. MSU is offering tours Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and on select Saturdays at 11 a.m. throughout the fall and spring. Our Mustang Rally events are our most interactive visit dates. These open house events allow students a chance to connect with other academic departments to learn more information about specific majors and programs. We also offer a really great virtual campus tour if you prefer that over an in-person visit. You can access everything by going to msutexas.edu backslash visit MSU. As you begin the process of learning more about MSU or applying to the university, I encourage you to reach out to your assigned admissions counselor. Please scan the QR code or go to the web link listed to meet and connect with your admissions counselor. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Our admissions counselors look forward to connecting with you. Thank you for your time and go Mustangs. Thank you, Mid Midwestern State University. We'll now have Sam Houston State University. Oh, Sam Houston, you are on mute still. So sorry. Um, okay, hi guys. Um, I am going to preface this with just letting you guys know, giving you a little heads up that for some reason there's a lot of construction going on outside of my door and I had no idea that was going to happen. So you might hear some crazy sounds. So I'm so sorry. I hope that you can still hear me um, um, aside from that. But um, hi, my name is Erica. Um, I'm so excited to tell you guys about Sam Houston. Um, I graduated from Sam Houston in 2019 with a public health degree. I was a former tour guide, loved my job. It, it took me to where I am today. So I'm just so excited to tell you guys all about Sam. Um, just a few fun facts. We are um, uh, number one in student placement uh, with the Texas workforce within 12 months of graduating. So um, we're really good at helping students find jobs. Um, our student to faculty ratio is 24 to one. So we do have those smaller class sizes, even though we have a big student population, population we really do um, want to keep those uh, class sizes smaller. And I can count on one hand uh, with how many auditorium classes I had my whole four or five years <laughs> that I was there. Um, and so definitely that's something that I, meant a lot to me because I felt like um, I could have that more um, connection with my, um, like with my professors. Um, a little bit of our, about our colleges and programs. These are just some of the big ones. This is not everything, but just some of our big ones. We do have the College of Arts and Media that's within our mass communications. We have music, theater, musical theater, art, um, so many music, just so many to choose from. We're also one of the few schools in Texas that has a, um, a music therapy program. So that's incredible. Um, and a lot of people do like to, um, are very interested in our music therapy program. Um, and then our largest college is actually our business college. Um, we have anything from marketing to finance, entrepreneurship, um, um, accounting, management, um, and we do have just a lot of opportunities for internships. Um, we also are number one in Texas for criminal justice. Um, we really, really pride ourselves in that. Um, there's a courtroom on campus that sometimes gets used whenever our county's um, courtroom is filled up. So that's something that um, we love to um, tell our students because they can go in person and 
and observe a case if they would like. Um, and then um, we also um, have a really great foundation in education. We started off as a teacher training school way back in 1879, so we know how to teach teachers, um, and it's just a, gr a great um, program that offers a lot of resources to students, and you get to do your observation hours as early as your sophomore year, um, and you have a wide variety of places you can do your student teaching at. We also have um, health sciences and the College of Health Sciences, uh, our big ones for this one would be our nursing program. That's our biggest um, drive for our health sciences department. Um, there's a lot of other majors in here, but a lot of people do like to uh, hear about our nursing program. Um, and then we also have the College of Science and Engineering Technology. So anything engineering um, or engineering tech, um, it's more geared towards mechanical engineering. You hear those noises, so sorry. Um, as it is uh, more geared towards mechanical engineering um, and it's very lab-based and science-based. Um, and then we also have our College of Osteopathic Medicine. It's our, our College of Medicine is brand new, so we're super excited to start telling our students about that. Um, we also have a wide variety of resources, um, and so you can kind of take a look. We have tutoring, um, health center, which is kind of like a clinic on campus, um, and these are all resources that um, are included in your tuition. So we are so excited that you guys get to kind of partake in this and. Um, um, hopefully be able to use these as a student. Um, we do have sports. These are all of the sports that we offer. We are a division one school. Um, and we also are recent national championships in football, which we're so excited. And we did recently win our rival game with SFA. Um, it was a very close game, you guys, but we are so excited about that. It's called the Battle of the Piney Woods game. Um, and so just so you guys kind of kind of take a look at the different um, sports that we offer, that would be it. And then um, our admissions process is pretty simple. You will just go to goapplytexas.org and um, you want to make sure that you send us the, your transcript. It is a $50 application fee. And if you qualify for a fee waiver, make sure you get with your counselor to send one um, and then send over your transcript. Um, for seniors this year, we are going test optional. You don't need to send in test scores. If you don't send test scores in, that's gonna look like having a 3.0 GPA or above uh, for automatic admissions. And if you do send test scores in, these are the requirements for that. Um, if you don't meet automatic admissions requirement, you'll just turn in a personal statement and we'll look at that with your transcript and we will make a decision from there. If you're transferring, these are the requirements for transfers. If you have 18 or more hours, you would only need a 2.0 GPA. Um, these are some important deadlines to keep in mind. Um, our scholarship for CATS priority deadline is coming up November 1st, guys. So if you've already been accepted and you didn't know of our scholarship for CATS application, um, definitely look that up on our website and fill that out so you can get as much um, aid as you can. Um, and then um, I'm going to skip which is a little bit to um, our costs. Um, this actually is wrong. It's about $10,000 per semester with room and board. And then if you want to come see us, please come see us. We have campus tours. You can scan this QR code if you'd like, um, and you can um, come visit us and take a tour. Um, and there's different ones. Um, that link will take you to our calendar that you can kind of choose to see um, where you would like to, um, when you would like to come. So thank you so much. And um, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you, Sam Houston State University. We'll, we will now have Stephen F. Austin State University. All right. Hi guys, how are you? Um, I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully you can see my screen, yes. Dang it. There we go, okay. Um, hi guys, my name is Natalia Delasprea. I am one of the regional coordinators for Stephen F. Austin State University here in the Houston area, and I cover all of the Yes Prep campuses. So I'm your admissions counselor. Any questions that you guys have, please feel free to reach out to me um, about the application process, your application status, anything like that. Um, I'm here to help, but I'm excited to share a little bit with that, about SFA with you today. Um, I'm gonna try and give you as much information as I can. Um, so just a little bit about SFA, if you did not know, we are located in East Texas. We are in Nacogdoches, Texas, which is about two and a half hours from Houston. Uh, we were established way back in 1923, so we're coming up on our 100-year anniversary, which is super exciting. SFA sits at about um, 
13,000 students. So it's a pretty nice size, not too large, not too small. Um, and then just a little bit about our academics. We have over 120 different areas of study. So lots of great opportunities to kind of pick and choose which major you want. Um, we are the Lumberjacks, if you did not know. Um, I was listening to Erica talk earlier and while Piney Woods was a very close game, it's super fun tradition that we all um, enjoy. So moving on to campus life, um, all of our students are required to live on campus their first year. Um, we do have a ton of different residential halls that you can pick from. Um, most of our um, residence halls have learning communities, which is um, learning communities based off of your major. So all of our nursing majors, um, get the opportunity to live together or engineering or business or things like that. So um, that's it's a great opportunity for you to not only meet people, but you also um, are able to um, study with them at the same time. So we have a great priority deadline of December 1st. So if you are admitted and you are um, decided that you want to go to SFA, you can select your residence hall um, on December 15th. So if you meet that priority deadline, you get priority to sign up for your residence hall early, which is super great. Um, talking about student involvement, we have over 200 clubs and organizations on SFA's campus, anything from Greek life to community service organizations, spirit organizations. Um, we have it all. Um, so definitely great opportunities to meet new friends, make connections for the future. Um, we always get asked about our sports. Sports are a huge deal at SFA. We're an NCAA D1 school. We offer basically everything that you can imagine. Sports are a huge tradition at SFA, and they're all free for our students to attend. Um, that's included in your tuition, so you don't have to buy a separate sports pass, which is awesome. Um, okay, uh, freshman admissions. So applying to SFA is super, super easy. The application is on Go Apply Texas. That is the only place that you'll find our application. Um, so you'll need to fill out the application there. You'll need to submit your official high school transcript, our SAT and ACT um, tests are optional, so they are not required. That is completely up to you if you decide to submit those and then submit your application fee of $50 or the fee waiver. So um, super easy, three easy steps, four if you're including your SAT and ACT. Um, and then just as a reminder, if you do meet that December 1st deadline, if you apply and are admitted before, excuse me, December 1st, then you can, then you have early access to select your residence hall and early access to um, select your orientation date. Um, I always get asked about our mission requirements. If you are in the top 25% of your class, um, it is an automatic admission. Anything after that, um, we will review it accordingly. Typically, I tell students that if you happen to file fall into file review. That's not something to stress about. That just means that we're going to look at your file um, in a holistic manner. So completely fine. And like I said, because our um, SAT and ACT are optional, they are not required. Most of our students who don't submit an SAT or ACT will go into file review anyway. Um, okay, and then last but not least, um, if you are interested in learning more about SFA and coming to visit us, we have our huge SFA showcase coming up in November. That will be November 13th. That is a great day to come visit campus and see everything all at once. We'll have campus tours. We will have um, residence halls open, academic departments, organizations all across campus. And we would love for you guys to come um, to the Piney Woods and see what SFA is all about. And then here is my contact information. Once again, like I said, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, but as always, ask some jacks. Thank you so much, Stephen F. Austin State University. We will now have the University of Dallas. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, just give me one second to share my screen. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, wonderful. So I am an admission counselor from the University of Dallas. I specifically work with homeschool students and students in Waco. Um, uh, so if you are either one of those, I am your admission counselor. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. 
Uh, so you, the University of Dallas, we are located in Irving. We are a private liberal arts Catholic university that offers a study uh, abroad semester in Rome. We actually have our very own Rome camp campus. Um, and we are located in the heart of the DFW Metroplex. Um, we do have a core curriculum that we require all of our students to partake in. Um, our core curriculum is comprised of 60 credits worth of classes and all of our students do participate in it. Um, our core curriculum is a great books focused, um, so uh, we do, it is an opportunity for cross uh, curriculum dialogues across all four years. Um, and some of those classes are um, English, philosophy, uh, history. Uh, we do have a language requirement that students can choose from Italian, Latin, Spanish, uh, French, and German, um, as well as a math class, politics class, economics class, as well, and a math class as well. Uh, for our Rome program, it is available to all students, regardless of their major, regardless of their student athlete or not. Uh, students can go as early as their sophomore year, and they have the opportunities to go in the fall and spring and even during the summertime. Our Rome campus is called the Due Santi campus, um, and typically students only take five core classes there uh, for the fall or spring semester. During the summertime, students typically tend uh, to take one or two classes. Uh, we do offer travel opportunities for our students when they go on the Rome program. So we take our students on class trips to Greece. They'll go on a 10 day trip there and visit cities like Athens, Delphi, Meteora, um, a lot of coastal towns as well. And then we'll also take our students on a Southern Italy trip visiting uh, the Amalfi Coast and Pompeii. And then we'll also take our students on a Northern Italy trip visiting Venice, Florence and Assisi. Um, as well as we give our students four long weekends to travel and then a 10 day break. So either a fall break or a spring break um, and you get to travel anywhere around Europe um, that you want. Uh, we do take our students of a part of their class uh, into Rome once a week. So we'll take our students to the Vatican Museums, uh, St. Peter's Church, uh, lots of museums like the Villa Borghese and a lot of, lot of famous churches around uh, Rome as well. So a lot of opportunities to get to see Europe uh, with your class and your professors. A lot of our uh, planned uh, class trips have a scheduled itinerary. So every single day you're going either to a famous museum, a famous church, um, and the professors rotate giving a lecture on site as well. Uh, our Catholic identity, we like to call ourselves enthusiastic and Catholic here, um, but it is not a requirement in order to be Catholic to attend our school. Uh, we do not uh, require our students to go to the chapel once a week or attend a Sunday service. Um, it is completely up to our students, uh, but about 80% of our students do identify as Catholic. So we do offer daily mass twice a day, um, confessions four times a week, daily adoration, um, as well, uh, we do have a campus ministry where they can connect students um, for, with their preferred place of worship um, within the local community as well, as well as offer volunteer opportunities. So if students want to uh, volunteer at a local organization or just volunteer at our church, uh, the campus ministry is one of the best places to get to connect students as well. Uh, and then we do offer retreats for students uh, each semester as well. Uh, and then what else is fun at UD? So we do have traditions here at the University of Dallas. We celebrate Groundhog in the spring semester, um, which is one of our kind of like our homecoming here. Uh, we started with a 5K run. We have a powder puff game. A lot of our sports teams will also have games throughout the day as well. Um, and then we have what's called Party at the Park, where your ticket into Party at the Park is a Groundhog sweater, which you can see in this picture that students are wearing. Uh, we have a live band that comes in place. So we build a live stage. Uh, we build a bonfire, we can, which you can see in the picture, as well as food and drink and an alumni tent. Uh, we do also have over 50 student-led clubs and organizations, uh, varsity teams, club and intramural sports. And then throughout the semester, we have lots of lecture series, art galleries, um, theater performances hosted by our drama department, and even music recitals as well. In our residence life, a lot of our uh, dorms host events for our students. So we'll have movie nights, uh, uh, bake sales, or um, uh, making cookies and stuff like that. So lots of events for our students participate on our campus as well. Um, and if students want to break from campus, we are located about 20 minutes outside of Dallas proper. So uh, you can even take the DART from our campus into Dallas itself 
or visit uh, Las Colinas, which is about 10 minutes away. Um, and there are always new restaurants to try, um, as well as you can see a concert at either the American Airlines Center or even at the Toyota Music Factory concert venue, which is in Las Colinas. Um, as well as the DFW Metroplex offers, uh, offers a lot of job opportunities for our students. Um, a lot of internship opportunities, a lot of tech companies have moved here, um, and they're always hiring and, and looking for UD students as well. And lastly, our admission process, you can apply either through the Common Application or Apply Texas. We do require a counselor letter of recommendation, an official high school transcript, we are test optional, and either pay the 50 application fee or submit the fee waiver code. And then we do offer lots of scholarships and financial aid as well, and we do accept outside scholarships. Uh, and this is just our timeline. So uh, particularly I want to highlight November 1st, if you apply by then, you can uh, get your app fee waived. And then lastly, if you have any questions, this is our contact information. Um, and then if you have any questions, you can post them in the Q&A and I will answer them there as well. Thank you. Thank you, University of Dallas. We will now have the University of Texas at Arlington. All right, everybody. Thank you all for being here. My name is Carla. I'm an admissions counselor at the University of Texas at Arlington. My colleague Julia is going to be in the chat. So if you have any questions throughout the presentation, feel free to just type it in the chat. And let's go. All right, just some UTA quick facts. We are number three in terms of ethnic diversity. So you're gonna to get to see people from all walks of life on campus. We have a student to teacher ratio of 22 to one, meaning that once you hit your core classes, you're gonna really get to know your professors and your peers on a more personal level. We are among the top five largest producers of college graduates in the state of Texas. And that is in part because a lot of our students actually graduate with very little student debt. Uh, we award around $30 million um, in terms of scholarships and around $500 million in terms of financial aid. So we do a pretty good job in making sure our students are set for school. Now, we also have the highest uh, first year median salaries of all students within the UT system. And that's also within UT uh, Austin, UTD, uh, UTSA, et cetera. We have students that are graduating uh, with a very good salary after college. Now, in terms of academics, we have nine colleges with over 180 programs for students to choose from. So regardless of your interest, we're going to find you something that is interesting to you. Uh, some of our more popular colleges are going to be the College of Business, College of Engineering, and the College of Nurse and, uh, Nursing and Health Innovation. Now, for purposes of time, I'm only going to speak about the College of Nursing, but feel free to ask Julia in the chat if you have any questions about a particular program. Um, the National League of Nursing actually selected UTA as being the 2020 Center of Nursing Education, and that's because our faculty met the gold standard that the National League of Nursing holds. So what that means is that we have quality professors teaching quality students. 94% of the students at UTA actually get to pass the NCLEX exam on the first try. If we pass, uh, if we compare that to the national average, we actually beat out everyone by about 4%. Um, so the nursing program at UTA is top tier. Uh, to be in the nursing program in particular at UTA, you are required to apply and be admitted to UTA. Once admitted to UTA, you'll complete all your prerequisite classes with a minimum GPA of a 2.75, and then you can apply into the nursing program towards the end of your sophomore, early junior year. If you decide that you want to go to a community college or another university and want to transfer in, no problem. As long as you have a minimum GPA of a 2.75, you will be allowed to apply into that nursing program. Now, moving on to resources, we want to make sure that students are as successful as they can be. Um, so we have all of these resources that are cover covered completely by a student's tuition. So you can continue using these resources all throughout your four years. And in particular, our uh, Lockheed Martin Career Development Center at UTA is a fantastic center. If you need assistance with building your resume, or if you're looking for internship opportunities, or if you want to set up a mock interview, we have staff available that can assist you and kind of show you how to improve your oratory skills and kind of really market yourself to all these different companies. Now, UTA is located right in the middle of Dallas and Fort Worth, and a lot of internship opportunities are within a five to maybe 25 minute drive out. Um, so if you want to go to Fort Worth, if you want to go to Dallas, you know, those options are definitely available. The great thing about the Lockheed Martin Career Development Center is that it is a service that you can use for life. So even after you graduate from college, if you decide you want to do a career change, you can go to the Lockheed Martin Career, Career Development Center and they'll assist you uh, with making sure that you're on the right path uh, towards happiness. Now, in terms of cost of attendance, um, this is a quick breakdown of what you may expect to pay on campus at UTA for one academic school year. Uh, 
Uh, tuition and fees is around $12,000. Compared to other universities, we're a little more affordable. So it's around 6,000 for the fall, 6,000 for the spring. In terms of books and supplies, it really depends on your major how much you're going to pay. So for example, I was a history major at UTA, so I didn't have to pay $1,000 for books. I, I paid at most maybe $150 per semester, and that's because I would rent my books, I would go to the public library, and I would get my books that way. Um, but if you're in a more demanding, let's say nursing, just keep in mind that you may have to buy a stethoscope, some scrubs, and books that are a little more expensive than the regular books. So just keep in mind that you want to set somewhere between probably like $500 up to $1,000. Now, as a freshman, you're not required to live on campus your first year. But should you want to, you would expect to pay somewhere closer to $10,000 to $11,000 that first year. In terms of transportation, if you have your own vehicle, um, just keep in mind, you may have to pay for gas, uh, insurance, etc. So you may want to set aside maybe $3,000. Now, in terms of personal miscellaneous, I would consider this emergency money just in case something goes wrong, you have some money set aside that you can use for emergency. So I tell students you can spend somewhere between $18,000 up to $28,000. It just really depends on your individual circumstance. Now, in terms of scholarships, uh, we, as I mentioned before, we award $30 million in scholarships on an annual basis. And these are some of our merit scholarships that we award students um, based on GPA, class rank, uh, if they've taken AP classes, dual credit, or if they've taken the SAT or ACT. Uh, no essay or letter of recommendation is required to qualify for this. Um, uh, these merit scholarships, you just have to apply and be admitted. Um, so highly suggest that if you are a student who has a very good GPA or you tested really well on the SAT or ACT, definitely apply prior to December 1st. Uh, the sooner you apply, the better chance you have of getting the most money in terms of merit scholarships. In terms of uh, federal and state aid, if you're a U.S. citizen or a U.S. resident, you qualify for FAFSA, so just be sure to complete your FAFSA prior to January 15th. And if you're a student who is undocumented or you're here under DACA, uh, you will fill out the Texas application for state student aid. This is a physical document that you must fill out and submit to our financial aid office, and they'll take care of it for you as long as you submit it prior to January 15th. But please, please, be sure to submit it prior to January 15th for you to qualify for the most funding. In addition to our merit scholarships, we have additional academic scholarships that students can apply to once they are admitted. So depending on your major, you'll find a lot of opportunities. Um, and so these particular scholarships within math scholarship may require an essay or a couple of letters recommendation. So just keep that in mind um, that other schools may ask for essays, but we do not in terms of applying. Now, these are the steps to apply. Um, you just have to submit your application through Go Apply Texas or the Common App. Uh, you'll pay the $75 application fee, or if you qualify for a fee waiver under SAT, ACT, or NACAC, just submit that to us and we'll take care of that fee for you. You'll need to submit a high school transcript in order for us to, uh, to make that admissions decision. And as I mentioned, SAT, ACT scores are optional. They're not required, but they can definitely better your chances of being admitted and getting a scholarship. So if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat, as I mentioned, but this is my contact information. If you wanna send me a question at any time, please let me know. And if you don't qualify for one of the fee waivers, definitely follow us on our social media page because we can let you know of certain dates that you can apply to UTA for free um, and you know get that application fee waived. So that's it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, University of Texas at Arlington. We'll now have the University of North Texas. Good morning, everyone. I'm about to share my screen so y'all can be able to see my presentation. All right, my name is Lauren Harp, an admissions counselor at the University of North Texas. I'm excited to just basically explain what makes UNT UNT. That's gonna be our programs, our admissions requirements and different resources that we provide as well as our sports programs as well. So we are located in Denton. It's about 30 minutes north of Dallas. So fantastic location for internships and post-grad opportunities as well. Um, we were voted, voted the best small town in America by Business Insider and a best college town in America by Livability. We also have a Frisco campus. It's a little newer, it's just a few years old, um, but it was ranked number two, Frisco alone was ranked number two among best cities for jobs after graduation. So in the DFW area alone, we have 24 Fortune 500 companies and three of them are in the top 10. So this is fantastic when you're kind of considering different colleges and universities for what opportunities we can provide for you. Our president, Dr. Smatris, he really emphasizes helping you get those opportunities after you graduate and finds that very important. And that is one of the main points of continuing your education at a college or university. So in Denton, you can see kind of in the bordering frame um, just different events that the city alone offers, 
and I'll basically um, provide more information about what UNT offers as well. So UNT, we were named at Best in the West College by Princeton Review for 13 consecutive years. We were also, um, we have 20 programs ranked in the top 100 in the nation by US News and World Report. And we were also listed as a member of Excellence and Community College Transfer Honor Roll by the prestigious Honor Society Phi Theta Kappa five years in a row. We are, um, we really like to emphasize our research. So we are a tier one research university and there are only 131 in the nation. We are one of them. We also have 89 programs in the nation's top 100. So we are the largest music public university in the nation, but we also have fantastic programs like our graphic design program is ranked second in the whole Southwest region and also fourth in the nation. Our business economics program is ranked first in Texas and our merchandising program is also ranked first in Texas. We also have a fantastic College of Engineering. They have a 300 acre building right off of campus called Discovery Park, just for our engineering students to really have hands-on for their projects and homework. So who are we? We have a student body of over 40,000 students, but like I said earlier, we are a research university. So we really like to emphasize smaller classrooms, even though we have a large student body. So around 26 to one is our student to teacher um, professor ratio. We are one university, 12 colleges and UNT, and we have a Denton campus, Frisco campus and online portal. The online portal offers fewer programs and those are really emphasized for our master's degrees, but we do have a few for bachelors. We offer 109 bachelor's degrees, 94 masters and 36 doctoral programs if you're interested in advancing your degree. Like I said, 89 of our programs are ranked in the 100 top. We offer over 425 student organizations, but and we do have them listed on our website, but if you do see something that um, isn't listed that you are interested in or passionate about, um, all you need is seven friends and basically you get together and you can start your own student organization. So it's very available for you to do that. We are a Hispanic serving institution. We offer also 14 residence halls and five dining halls. Two dining halls are very special to us. One is Mean Greens Cafe and it's the first vegan cafe in the nation. And then also we have Kitchen West and it excludes all the big allergens, eight allergens. Mean Green Sports. We are in the Conference USA. We're the NCAA D1 athletics team. And they're listed right here. We have a fantastic bas men's basketball program. Um, our football program is also outstanding as well as our women's soccer. So just some admissions requirements. Um, these are the guaranteed admissions requirements. So we will um, admit you automatically if you rank in the top 10% of your high school class, the next top 15 of your high school class, rank second or third quarter, and have a cumulative unweighted high school GPA of 3.0 or higher. So if you have meet any of those requirements in the automatic admissions requirements. We also um, like to divide it in three basic steps. Our application process is pretty quick and simple. Um, the first one is to apply. You can apply via goapplytexas.org or commonapp.org. It's your choice, um, really whatever you prefer and whatever is user-friendly for you. We do have an application fee of $75. You can defer it to your tuition and push it back to tuition if you'd like. You just need to let a specific office know. The next step is to submit your transcripts. So um, high school transcript, but also if you've received dual credit classes, submit your college transcripts as well. And the last step is to monitor your MyUNT portal. Basically, after you um, pay the application fee of $75 or take care of it, um, we'll send you a login to create your student portal. And so on that, we'll be able to give you your admissions decision. And these are the application timelines. So July 1st is when the application um, admissions application opens for Apply Texas and Common App. October 1st is when our FAFSA, TASFA, and general scholarship applications open for students. You do have to be admitted to be considered. So we do work on rolling admissions. So we give you an admissions decision about two weeks after you submit that high school transcript. However, I always recommend um, getting that taken care of if you are prepared and want to attend UNT, getting that taken care of before October 1st to get that scholarship and financial aid. January 15th is our FAFSA TASFA priority date. And mid-January is when housing application opens. So I always recommend doing your research. We have quite a few different residence halls. So doing your research on what you want and being ready right when that application process opens. March 1st is when our freshman scholarship consideration deadline um, 
occurs. And then summer is when our orientation sessions and then August is Mean Green move in. We have quite a bit of scholarships. We have over 190 scholarships, but feel free to take a look at these and also scan the QR code in the bottom right corner. Um, there's quite a bit of information for this and we have different ways you can set up your tuition plans. Um, but one of our main ones is our UNT Excellence Scholarships. It awards $1,000 to $12,000 per year, meaning 4,000 to 48,000 altogether for all four years. And if you're out of state and you do receive a scholarship, you can get in-state tuition. So I always recommend taking a look at that QR code. And these are just some upcoming events that we have. October 23rd is our UNT preview day. So you get to come to campus, talk to anybody from any of our colleges, but also student services like admissions, financial aid, scholarships. So feel free to take a um, scan of that QR code to the left. And basically you can register for that event. If you're interested in doing a campus tour uh, for Denton or Frisco campus, take a look at the tours.unt.edu go for go at unt.edu. And this is my contact information. Feel free to send me an email or give me a phone call. And also you can scan this QR code to do a request for information form as well. It was so great talking to y'all. And if you have any questions, you can always email me too. All right. Thank you so much. I would love for everyone to come back on screen with me so we can do a quick Q&A. Um, <clears throat> as we move to close out this session. So Midwestern State University, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Well, of course, it's good to start early, I feel like, but <clears throat> I would say make yourself look at schools that may, you maybe not have thought of before. Um, you may have a, a first choice school that you just are just dying to go to, but make yourself look at you know three or four other options or maybe six or eight in total uh, but it's good to have options on the table because you just never know what might happen throughout the college admissions process. Uh, when, it, when it when it comes to money, you know, certain schools may offer more money than others. So it's good to have options on the table. So make yourself have more than just one or two schools that you're applying to. Thank you. Sam Houston State University. What's one thing you want uh, students to remember about your school? Um, oh, so I feel like... Um, Something to remember is that um, it's so easy to find community um, at Sam Houston. Everybody's so friendly um, and you'll be able to um, find your people very quickly. So um, I would say that's something to remember, but also um, that if you're a senior, we are going test optional this year. So you don't need to send test scores in. Um, and um, if you have any questions about that, you can put it in the chat and I will answer it. Thank you. Uh, Stephen F. Austin State University, what is one myth you'd like to debunk on the college admissions process? Um, I think the biggest thing is to remember that is that your admissions counselors are here to help you. Like we all want to admit you. Like our, our main goal is not to deny as many students as we can. Like we're here to help. Um, so the more that you're in contact with us, the more that you are in communication with us, the more we can help you with that. Um, I know college admissions can be very stressful and it seems like it's this big competition to get in, but just remember that our goal is to help admit you. We're not on this like journey to deny as many students as we can. So just know that we're all here to help. Thank you so much. Uh, University of Dallas, what is advice, what, excuse me, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Um, yeah, I would definitely um, reiterate um, uh, what N Natalia just said, you know, uh, our, the admission counselors here are really here to help you um, through the, uh, throughout the entire application process. We can help you find uh, scholarships, we can answer any questions about financial aid, or at least specifically with the University of Dallas, um, and uh, we like to get ans uh, questions and answer them back within 24 hours. So. Um, that's definitely uh, what we are here for, and we're more than happy to answer them. All right, thank you so much. Uh, University of Texas at Arlington, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Yeah, one thing that I want students to remember is that we love awarding money. We give $30 million in scholarships, $500 million in terms of financial aid. So as long as a student applies early with enough time, they're going to get some sort of money, some sort of help that can help them. Um, and I guess to, to slip right in, we don't require essays or letters of recommendation to apply. You will still qualify for scholarships as long as you apply and are admitted. Um, so very quick, easy application. 
it can take 15 to 30 minutes. So that's it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. And University of North Texas, if you don't mind uh, rounding us out, what is one myth you'd like to debunk on the college admissions process? I'd say one myth is um, starting when you're a junior or senior in high school. I always recommend maybe taking a look when you're a freshman or sophomore. Um, you may are maybe unsure about specific majors or programs that you're interested in um, while you're continuing high school, but I always recommend just taking a look at different colleges or universities. There are so many out there for very specific programs too. So um, find what fits you um, and then that'll really excite you and motivate you to continue your studies. Awesome. So I know there are quite a few questions in the chat. However, um, the presenters have uh, dropped some of their information in, oh, uh, in the chat for you all to connect with them after this session. I'd love for you, I'd love to thank you all for joining us today. When you close this window, <clears throat> there will be a quick five question survey. We love for you to provide us with any feedback that you have. Um, we encourage you to check back on the schedule and, just, and to sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other session recordings at strivescan.com forward slash yes prep. Thank you all so much and have a great day.